Good morning. It is another wonderful morning, another 6.20 a.m. sunrise, and I hope that you're doing well. Today, of course, is Sunday, the Lord's Day, the day we worship and study, pause for, for that. And, uh, and so I hope that you will um, be worshiping today, and so we'll, we'll talk about that later on. But for our thought today from walking in sunlight yesterday we talked about shadows and darkness uh, shadows around me shadows above me never conceal my savior and guide and jesus we learn later on in the hymn there he is the light in him is no darkness and there are plenty of verses for for that but i, I chose to start with john 8:12. Jesus there talking to the Pharisees, uh, I am the light of the world, uh, whoever uh, uh, follows me will never walk in darkness, uh, but will have the light of life, uh, is what we read there in John 8 verse 12. And Jesus of course identifying that he's the source of that knowledge, that life for us. The Bible of course, New Testament especially, full of of examples examples we can really understand and grasp but also the old testament too uh psalm 119 um uh, 105 uh, thy word is a lamp unto my feet uh and a light unto my path and i see jesse's popped on good to see you this morning jesse thank you for sharing these videos appreciate that um also matthew 5 14 through 16 is a great place to look uh talking about how we are the light of the world and, uh, and how we are a city set on hill as Christians, as a church, that uh, that light shouldn't be hidden, uh, but that it should be uh, put in a place where it can reflect goodness. So we talk about light a lot. And the Bible also talks about darkness, right? That we're not supposed to be hiding our evil deeds in darkness. We're not supposed to be people of darkness. Of course, all that talking about the idea that we're supposed to be busy doing good each one of us were created to do good and that's what we should be doing that's why I like these long days the example of daylight today again 14 hours and 16 minutes of daylight to be doing good my parents always told me varying things you know it's something like you know nothing good ever happens after dark or nothing good ever happens after 10 o'clock or nothing good ever happens after midnight there's there's a few variations in there, right? And your parents probably told you the same thing. And I will tell my children the same thing because we know it's true. A lot of times if you're out and it's after midnight, there's really nothing good and productive that can happen. And uh, we know that a lot of times these things happen in darkness, things that, that we don't want to be involved in as, as Christians. We, uh, we also recognize that darkness is scary. Our, uh, one of our daughters, I won't identify which one, is really scared of the dark. And, uh, and so if she has to come across the house, we know she's coming because their bedroom's on the opposite side of the house. She'll turn on every single light on the way uh, to come over to our bedroom to tell us something at night. Uh, and then she doesn't turn them off because uh, she's so scared of the dark. Uh, she won't, uh, won't turn them off to go back to her bedroom. So just stay in the light is what we're aiming at and don't be uh, in the darkness. Jesus is the light. One other thought on worship uh, for our folks at Bridgewood. Uh, we of course have 9 a.m. Bible class, both in person and on the live stream. 10 a.m. worship as well, in person and on the live stream. Uh, we also have our 5 p.m. Bible class on Jude. That is online only. That is through Zoom. Uh, and then we have our teen time that follows that. Uh, that is also on Zoom, same link that's used for the 5 p.m. Bible class. Um, we hope that you're engaging in worship, that you are um, studying in our Bible classes, studying on your own as well, studying with your family. Um, we hope that you're doing those things. Uh, reminder for the folks, or, or information for the folks who are, are gonna be worshiping online, uh, make sure and look at that email, it's gonna go out in a little bit, um, to check in. Um, we're going to go and start checking in again if you're worshiping online uh, just so we can hear from you so we can kind of know who's out there watching 
online. Hope you have a great Sunday. Thanks for watching.